Hello everybody, I'm Leo Lion, uh, and I'm going to be starting a new tutorial series called Learning with a Lion, where I'm going to be teaching you stuff about different Adobe, mainly CS4 programs, such as After Effects, Flash, Photoshop, that kind of thing. And uh, this is going to be a pretty simple tutorial about how to make a character move with the arrow keys uh, in ActionScript 2.0 in Flash. So you can just start up Flash. Um, and for this tutorial, any version will do as long as it's Flash MX 2004 or higher. And let's make a new document. Make sure it's ActionScript 2.0. And you click on it. And let's create our character that we're going to be using for this tutorial. Uh, for this, this is going to be kind of like a game thing. So you'll just create your character. I'm just making mine a circle. And then you can just select him, press F9, uh, sorry, F8. Uh, and it becomes a movie clip and, well, it's, it becomes a symbol. You select the movie clip type uh, and just call him character. Him or her is character. So after that, uh, we'll just have to code in some arrow key movement, which is quite simple really, but this is going to be a pretty simple tutorial. Pretty brief. So now what we're going to do is type on clip event, and then in parentheses, enter frame. So what we just said there is every time our character enters a new frame, and then we'll say if key dot is down like this. Um, then we type key dot right like that. Uh, right in capitals. Uh, action script is case sensitive, so you got to remember to do that. So what we just said there is every time our character goes into a new frame, if the right arrow key is down, and then we will specify what happens if the right arrow key is down. Um, so once you can just open and close these curly brackets and then we'll type what happens when the cur when the right arrow key is down well the x-axis so underscore x plus equals well let's make it five uh, you know for this kind of thing it's uh, it's okay to have a number which you now uh, does this but it's also nice to have an operative variable which you use for this kind of thing. So you can just throw everything down a line and say speed equals five. And that's what we did. We just created a variable called speed, which is equal to the number five. Now if we type in speed, um, it'll affect the x-axis by five pixels because speed equals five. This is helpful if you're going to have some stuff inside this game that you're creating here, which is going to make you go faster or slower so that these things can alter your speed variable number. And now that you've done that, speed, uh, so, so what you did is you said uh, when the right arrow key is pressed, speed will add itself to the x-axis so it moves to the right with five pixels. Now we'll just type else over here, which says if the right arrow key is not pressed, then, and we type the same exact kind of thing um, with the same exact stuff, except a little different, because instead of writing key dot right, you guessed it, we write key dot left. And open curly brackets, close curly brackets, and well, with this, now you just type what you want to happen when you move to the left, when you press the left arrow key. So, underscore X, and it's gonna look exactly the same way, except instead of a plus, we do a minus, so that it moves in the opposite direction, see? Because we're subtracting from the X axis now. And now, uh, for a little bit different thing, moving up and down, cause, actually, let's just save this real quick, and then we'll preview it just to see what it's like. So we'll go on the desktop, just call it 
arrow key movement. You can call this whatever you want. Um, just call it that to categorize my stuff. So now you've got that, let's preview it with control enter, which is test movie. And then you'll have, oh, there seems to be an error. And we can just go and, oh, well, a way to do this is, uh, it says that uh, the speed is outside of any bounds of any kind. And that's correct. So I specifically put it there to show you what would happen. And you would need to sh uh, put it here. And let me just put this down a notch like this. So what you just did there pretty much is you said that on enter frame, speed will equal five. Not just at all. Uh, because that won't work because we're in a, we're in a on clip event thing. We're working with a movie clip and its events. And now that that's done, we can just preview our movie. Again, control enter. And you'll see our character there in the center. And if you press the right and left arrow keys, it'll move around. Pretty cool, huh? And then, let's do this. Let's go and let's type some stuff about the up and down. And in order to make our character move up and down, well, we're gonna pretty much type the same exact stuff again. Um, but don't worry, you can just copy and paste and then just edit some stuff. So yeah, instead of right, we'll type in up. And instead of left, we'll type in down over here. And here, instead of the X axis, we'll do the Y axis. Instead of X axis, we'll do Y axis. And then we need to change signs. I'll explain this in a second, just as soon as I get finished changing them. And this is why. Some of you out there who don't really use the Y and X axis stuff, uh, some of you are new to action script, pretty much I mean. So some of you might be saying to yourselves, why, why do you need to change signs? Wouldn't that mean that when you press up, our character goes down, and when you press down, our character goes up? No, actually the y-axis has some curious properties which causes um, subtracting from the y-axis to go up and adding to the y-axis go down. Eventually you get used to it and it's not that much of a problem anymore. So now that you've done all that stuff, you can just, uh, it's always useful to check for arrows before you test your movie. Um, and when you do that, there are errors because certain things you forgot to look at. So, uh, we need to remember, this is, I specifically brought this up on purpose. This curly bracket stuff is really important. Action script is big on these curly brackets. So you gotta add them everywhere. So you can go to source and so you just add this curly bracket at the end because what it's saying is this, um, see, I opened a curly bracket over here and I never got to close it. So then you can just check for errors again and there's no errors. So now what you did is you test the movie and voila, you have perfect arrow key control. And you can even move diagonally by pressing two at once. Um, so now that you have that, uh, that wraps up our tutorial on arrow key movement and you can come back for the next tutorial soon. And if you want to be notified when the next tutorial comes out, just subscribe to the channel. So yeah, I'm Leo Lyon from Learning with the Lion and see you next time.